Hello, I'm John Proxy on Channel John Lewis. I'm having a human resource machine adventure. And, um, well, I'm that guy. I've been there for 12 years. Employee one. And, um, well, I guess I'm going to the equalization room. I'd spell that with an S, but I come from the UK. Year 13. Right, sometimes some numbers are bigger than other numbers, and sometimes they are the same. How can we know? I read about that here in this great book, Which Number Are You? for Aspirational Zero. You can borrow it later. What? So he read about it, not he read about it. Sorry, that really confused me. Um, tell me more. You're doing just fine. I don't have a favourite employee. I enjoy supervising them all equally. Yes, okay. So getting two things from the inbox, if they're equal, put one of them in the outbox, discard non-equal... Hello world. Uh, you've got comments, you can use them if you like, to mark sections of your program. Ah. Um. Ooh. Hello. No. Welcome. As in, welcome to the proximity. Don't like that E, but whatever. Um. Whatever. Oh, I see. Okay. Where did I put that welcome then? Drag commands here to learn more. Oh, I did not know that. Right. Let me read what the quest is again. Get two things from the inbox. Yes. If they are equal, put one of them in the outbox. Discard non-equal pairs. Repeat. Okay. Alright, so inbox. And then copy to zero. In box. Copy to one. This. is distracting and it's quite difficult to write in this um what the hell am i doing give up comments grab two th all right well, well, I've, I've grabbed two things from the inbox like so haven't i I'll tell you what. He's grabs two things from the inbox. One. Put it on one. Zero. And then we grab a second thing. We don't want to jump just yet, so let's take that off. If they are equal, put one of them in the outbox. How the hell do I tell? Oh, am I going to have to... Is this maths? Am I doing something with maths? Or math, I guess. That's what they call it in America. Uh, how the hell do I tell? Equalization. Discard non equal pairs. Alright, jump if zero. That's how I do it. So, subtract. Let's see what happens. 
to four. Alright, jump. Uh, we'll jump back here. So. Let's see what happens. Alright, eight. That five isn't equal, of course. So, subtract. So, we start again. Three. That makes it zero. Good. So, what do we do? Right, the next thing we do, stop, is we pick up. Copy from. Zero. Um, out box. Then jump to beginning. Actually, we want to jump there. We'll see. This feels like it's inefficient, but let's see if it works. So two, four are not equal. So that shouldn't work. Four and four are equal. Did that work? Wonderful. Okay. Got a few commands. Right. Speed challenge. Ah, okay. We need to remove a step. Hmm. These two, I don't like these two being in the beginning. Hang on. What's it cycling through? Them? What does it cycle through most, and how can I remove it? Uh, one of these, are, I think it's copy from. So let's just play it out. I'm trying to see what junk stuff have I got. Okay, so I was looking at that one. Let's try that again. Let's look at this to see if there's anything that looks untowards. Alright, I've got an idea. If it's going to jump more often, then I do this. I make it so it always jumps, and it always jumps there, but then I jump if zero here instead. Let's give that a go. Can't jump if zero if at empty hands, okay. Well then. No, that's just going to replace it with something in the inbox. Alright, that was possibly stupid then. Was that it? Sorry, let me just find that first. I need to get rid of one of the steps. What what is junky here? All right, let's try this. I'm gonna figure this out and <laughs> just make my code more efficient. Hmm. I can't see it, I can't see what is wrong.
Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just staring at this, just not getting what I did inefficiently. And all I can think of is, let's follow the path, right? Inbox. Right, one, two. See, I, I immediately don't like that it does that. So let's start with the inbox. Do that. Okay, I did this before. That's not zero, so one would assume that the smartest option here is to jump all the way back. What, instead of jumping, is if I just copied those. And then hope. No. Right, instead of jumping. Zero. Why does that go all the way there? Let's take off my jumps a bit. I think I can do it, but it's cheating. Oh, I don't know. I was thinking I could just like build it without all the jumps in. What happens if I go out and back in? It has to be the way around uh, because it won't know. There's not a. So, what it does is it puts two of them together and it, it, it subtracts it away. And if it's not zero, I know that's not equal. Jump if zero. Normally I'd go back like this and start the entire process again. Wouldn't die. Um hmm. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Hang on, no. So it's that, isn't it? It's just taking too many steps. I don't like this. I don't like that I've not done the speed. And I get that I might not be able to do both. My only other solution I can think of is to do it all manually. Okay. 
get two things from the inbox. So, those two are wrong. Away and put it back. I, I was trying to do it all manually, but maybe there's a smarter way of me doing this. Okay. Inbox. to give up on this. I don't like that red light. It feels like it's possible. It's the copy from uh, Add Zero. Outbox. Uh, this will start the process again. This will start the process. process again as well. Okay, let's try that. So these aren't equal, so we should throw it away. These will be equal. Right. Now, it's basically exactly the same solution, but I used an add instead of a subtract. Right. <sighs> hmm. I guess I'm going to come back to it because this has been a 20 minute video. I've been John Proxy. When well, I've done the puzzle. I've been having a human resource machine adventure. I'll see you guys next time.